There's a pair of Pine 64s. Hey guys, I'm back again. It's been a while, but uh, here we are in the shack. And uh, I got these two Pine 64s a couple weeks ago, and I had time this weekend uh, today to play around with them. Um, I got one of the very base model uh, Pine 64s, um, which was the uh, 512, um, and that refers to how much RAM you get. So uh, the base model is, uh, yeah, 512, um, half a gig basically of RAM. And uh, so that one's this one here on the left. And, uh, and then I got the two gig model here, right there. And that's the one you see running on the screen here. Um, so I've been playing around with them, actually uh, streaming some video, Amazon Prime video today and watching some movies and TV. And, uh, yeah, you know, hey, for what it is, not bad. One uh, thing, though, uh, let me show you the differences real quick uh, between the uh, half gig and two gig. And um, here we are. So what you have on this side is the, uh, this one here is your half gig base model. And... You'll see that the uh, CSI, the TP, the DSI, all these ports are not populated. Um, and over here, you can see the connectors here for those uh, different expansion ports. Um, I got two, I got a switch with each of them rattling around in the bag, and I decided after playing around a little bit that I was going to put both of them on the uh, 2 gig model. So they're here. I've soldered those on. Uh, they were not too easy to solder. Um, the solder did not want to flow on the pads very well. It's kind of ugly, I gotta tell you. Not my Show best you on screen. So this is the uh, Pine64 2 gig and running Remix OS. And let me figure out which which uh, mouse I'm, I'm going to use here. And let's just uh, open up YouTube. I think I need two clicks. Here we go. So look at that. Not bad. Um, let's go to my channel here. I mean, that's snapping right in there, right? It's not bad at all. Here's a quick video, I'll just show you how fast it is. So, uh, yeah. I mean, that's, that's pretty handy. Uh, here's one thing. Remix is designed for touchpad. So it it does just like a phone, like an Android phone sort of, um, but it's a desktop. But still, there's some swiping and things that if you're using a, a keyboard and mouse, it's a little clunky. Um, but anyway, so that does well. Let me show you now uh, the. I'll show you the other the half gig model here. Uh, let's see here. So here's the half gig. I am running Ubuntu Mate, which is one of the distros that was on the Pi Wiki. Okay. Um, Remix, I couldn't get it to boot at all. Um, no joy with the Remix for booting on the half gig model. Uh, so, you know, Here's your uh, internet, which is basically a version of Safari called Midori. Um, oh, let's see. Because of a crash, blah, blah, blah. Let's try loading the page. This is YouTube. And, you know... 
There's some ad trying to dot load. Let's see if we can get to my channel. Did that work? I don't know if that even worked. I, see, I think there's a... Uh, and I tried to run it. There's another... There's a video player install that you need to uh, run on top of this. Or, you know, install in the OS to get YouTube to work. Which I tried to install, but it doesn't seem to have worked. But anyway, let's... Here, let's just try... I'm going to add a tab to this browser. Okay, I clicked on that already. Are we gonna are we gonna have a new tab option here? Um, anytime. Oh, there you are. Okay. So you know, let's. Uh, oh, that's the wrong keyboard. Here we go. Search with Google for Pine64. All right, here we go. Both of these are hooked up to an Ethernet cable to the same switch on my network. Um, so they should have the same speed available. Anyway, you can see how this half gig is pretty laggy and you know honestly Raspberry Pi 2 is faster than this um, there you go world's first $15 um, what are we $15 what um, Uh, hello, 15 what? <laughs> oh, tablet? That's a tablet? Oh, okay, maybe. Um, anyway, it's not super impressive, man. But, you know, 29 bucks instead of 15, you get the actual product that they intended to sell you in the first place. I wouldn't waste my money on this guy here. Don't buy a fifteen dollar Pine sixty four. Okay, just don't do it. You you don't want that. If you want a Pine sixty four, get this one. Two gigabytes. What the heck? Twenty nine bucks, right? I also got the camera. It's this guy, the ribbon cable, pain in the butt to put in. I haven't figured out how to connect to it yet. I don't know how to use the camera. I think, you know, and there's not a whole so lot anyway, of support. Yeah. There's the, the Wi-Fi patch antenna. And the Wi-Fi module just pops right on. It does work, and I logged into my Wi-Fi network and everything, but um, I wasn't having great success with Wi-Fi down here, so I plugged these into a switch that's in my shack here. Um, they both work. Let's see. There's some talk on the internet and stuff. People are saying that you need to use something other than Win32 Disk Imager to write the image. I didn't have any problem with Win32 Disk Imager. It worked the first time every time I did have a problem using an HDMI adapter to try to run display on a VGA on a cheap monitor that's not an expensive monitor but I'm talking cheap monitor like old VGA monitor that didn't work at all I think the HDMI is pretty picky so keep that in mind uh, anyway I mean there you go this has the app store on it I'm running a 16 gigabyte card. I've tried to install a couple more apps and not gotten any luck out of that. Um, and I'm thinking maybe that's because I'm out of storage, but no, I don't think so. Um, I'm not sure why. I tried to um, install 
Ocala speed test and it wouldn't go and uh, I tried to install something else and uh, I couldn't get it to work so I don't know maybe I'll try again and the thing has upgraded twice already I booted it up and it said hey upgrading um let's try this reset button I haven't tried it yet let's see if it works press the reset button here hey look at that it worked so here's the boot up for the 2 gig running Remix OS while that's booting up we can talk about other things I was really hoping that I would be able to use the camera easily you know because um, one of the things I wanted to do I got this battery which okay the battery comes awesome battery plugs right into the board no instructions on charging other than it says charging volts 4.2 volts no no instructions on anything there was a little thing that said hey the button flitting around right in here we did that on purpose you probably saw that there's a boot up so it's booted up now um so anyway i gotta figure out how to charge this it may be charged up already i haven't tried running it off and there's a little jumper right here on the board where'd my pointer go i'll use my big fat finger i guess so uh right here on the board is the jumper to switch between usb power and battery power over here um so that's it man uh that's all you get that's all i can tell you about these so far but uh yeah, bottom line, don't get the $15 one. Get the $29 one. And um, you might hold off on the camera until some more uh, support comes out. Right now, there's like no support. No, the wiki is like very basic. It's hard to find much uh, good information on this thing. And um, I may need to be running a completely different image, like another OS, to get the camera to work. Maybe it only connects in uh, some Linux distribution. I don't know. Um, anyway, uh, yeah. So that's the Pine 64. And uh, don't buy the half gig. Go for two gigabytes if you're going to buy it. There's other stuff out there, I think, you know, maybe... Uh, the cool thing is the remix is kind of nice, you know, you get apps and stuff. I, I like that. So maybe one of the uh, other single board computers will come out with remix. But I, like I said, I've been watching uh, TV on this thing all day um, just for goofs. And uh, it's, it's run all day long. Been playing uh, different shows and just keeps going. So anyway. Last shot. Pine 64. Thanks for watching guys. Can't wait to see you again with another video. This is Cameron. My ham radio call sign is AJ4TW. And uh, we'll catch you next time.